Why hello there, my name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. I resell on eBay so I can afford to buy nerdy stuff. I have a nine to five job as well. This is purely part time, although sometimes it really doesn't feel like it. But we sold some stuff in the still improving SKU system. A5, we have sold the Leicester shirt, which is a large for 71.99 plus shipping and it cost me 10 pounds so all in pretty damn good decent amount of profit there now this was only listed for a couple of days but undertaker sold for 2.99 plus shipping it's not a lot but if you was to pick up i mean i did at one point I had a whole box of these and i think i just put them in an auction but like three pound times a hundred that's 300 quid that i just sort of got rid of when in reality i should have got my arse in gear and just got it listed for three pound each plus shipping because um, as i said last of the day and he's gone 6.99 all in 9.99 all in time to get everything packaged and then call sunday a day so yeah i'm back i'm back in this one i was working around the corner pebble beach as so i thought yeah let's go for butchers but it's uh, the worst that can happen. No. Shirts next. Camilla. Done. Two. No. 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 Scotland. What is that? No idea. Doesn't feel particularly great anyway. BWM. Structure. This is all the cheap stuff. Cap. Who's that? Sequel cap. Last time, I think it was just the England top, wasn't it? Which I didn't actually, still not listed, it's just at home in my pile of clothing. So, that is all individually priced, aren't they? Not bad, fiver. Huge amounts of profit in it though. Some Nikes. Didn't have a price in them. Oh, there's no price there. £3.50. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Alright, Wales. Adidas, it's not bad. What is it? Six pound fifty. Next, I'm going to see jackets. Penguin, Taylor Wright, Brooke to Burner, County Heritage. That's not bad. Country heritage, my bad. No fear. That's disgusting. Hobbs. £25. Probably worth every single penny. Caramel in 15 FC UK, £12.50. I mean, for personal, it's a lovely big charity shop. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. A pair of Grantsons. And. Oh, 
25 of the Samuel Windsors. Was there a prize in the Queen's Inns? Out of 25. No, we don't have a winner. I mean, these are almost brand new. And it does say £115 on the bottom, so in theory, I could just sell them like that. Hmm. I mean... What are these ones? So, 25, 25, oh, it's really freaking tempting, 25, I'll give what, 80 for them, a little imperfection just in the, uh, then you'll turn on the TV, and that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. Oh, I don't know. What's my age again? I mean, someone's selling like a proper brand new. It's 23 pound on bids. Let's go to box. BV 103, BV 103, tasseled loafer. I think it is worth a shout. Let's check the other one. Yeah. I'll get money. I'll get money for this. Uh, right then. So, down here in this bottom section, which you can't quite see, but we have sold this lovely Spider-Man for 9 99 plus shipping. It cost me a pound or two. Um, then over here, there should hopefully be, I can see it, I can see it. Oh, or did, or did I not see it? Or did I get it mixed up with something else? Um, Oh no, there it is. It's a Dungeons and Dragons thingy. It sold for $6.99. Sorry, $69.99. That decimal point is um is a big deal. Plus UPS shipping. That is gonna be pushing it, I think, on the width of what I've got in storage. Great! Right then, so A6 Lulu Lemon. It's actually that one, the stripy one, $34.99 plus shipping, cost me a fiver, I need to take that indoors as well. Uh, and then I sold a PS1 game and I've completely forgotten what it was. I mean, it's not helpful at all. I thought maybe just looking inside, it would remind me, but it's not. It was the fifth element for eleven ninety nine. dollars so that will go as a large letter. And it's getting hot again. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be working in a loft on Friday. I'm really not looking forward to it. So, from a distance, I can see some things I might buy. We've got a, a dodgy Sprite Funko Pop which is, it's a limited edition, but we are supposed to be getting a second one. Uh, but I quite like that What If Nebula. That's quite cool. So I'll have that one. Then we've got AEW Nick Jackson. Judging by that sticker there, that one was reduced in Smith's, so I probably won't be buying it. <coughs> but Marvel figures are always decent. It's not going to be mega money, probably like a tenner 
which I know I keep on saying I stopped buying little flips but it's just 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 easy isn't it um, like this dude Camaro speed rider knockoff transformer um, couple of Power Rangers no I need to stop buying incomplete sets of Power Rangers in here we've got I'll do this for Pikachu but I don't want it it's too new better than the kick in the balls I suppose so what the ball what if Nebula paid three pound apparently it was donated by Smiths so she said oh that was donated by Smiths is like, oh okay it's not going to be worth anything then. If I'm very, very lucky, uh, this version of Nebula will come back in What If Season 2. And I also bought the Samuel Windsors for 25 which I will most likely regret because they're going to take a dog's age to sell. But, you know, you got to speculate to accumulate to make mistakes and, and stuff. Lego Infinity Gauntlet, 59.99 plus shipping. And Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Silver, 24.99 all in. Skylanders at seven ninety nine each plus shipping going together, and twenty pound plus shipping for this Xbox One Disney Infinity Portal.